Hello and welcome back to my study. I've got a question for you today. When is it really important to know that a person you're dealing with has the authority to do what they're doing? Either that's because maybe they're, they, they want some money from you or because they're telling you to do something uh, or, or because they, they're holding some kind of authority over you. Have a think about that for a moment. Press pause and have a think about when is it important that you know that somebody has the right to do what they're doing? Well, I don't know what you thought about. Perhaps uh, you thought about those uh, people who come knocking at your door sometimes wanting to know uh, uh, who, who lives in the house, maybe for the purpose of electoral roll. There was somebody going around Willoughby the other week, apparently. Uh, knocking on doors, uh, checking that people had uh, registered to vote. And uh, they, they were carrying in their hand a, uh, uh, some uh, ID from the local council. Uh, you might want to know that somebody has the authority to stop you. Perhaps you were doing, I don't know, one and a half miles an hour over the speed limit. And uh, the, the, somebody who looks like a policeman stops you. And you want to know they really are a policeman, don't you? And of course, uh, they're, they're probably in a car and uh, with markings on it and, and they've got their their police ID haven't they but they show you it and you know that this is a a, a genuine uh, police officer now uh, when Jesus cleared the temple in that quite dramatic way that we've been thinking about the people around want to know what authority it is that he has to do this uh, this is a, a new upstart rabbi isn't it or so they thought this, this was somebody who, who had no authority to clear the temple. So what do they say? Verse 18, they say, we want a sign, a sign. Uh, they're not after an ID badge. They're not after a, a police officer's hat or, or Mark's car. Uh, they want some kind of sign to sh for Jesus to show that he has the authority to clear the temple. He has the authority to claim authority for himself over the temple. And what does Jesus say? He doesn't pull out a badge. He doesn't say uh, anything about, well, go and uh, go and check out who my parents are or check out where I went to school uh, or, or uh, here, here's my certificate of education as a, as a rabbi. He didn't have those things as far as we know. Jesus said something quite surprising really he said destroy this temple and i'll rebuild it in three days now the people there would have been looking at each other scratching their heads and thinking that jesus had gone absolutely stark raving bonkers why because it had taken over 40 years to get the temple to the position it's in by now uh, and it wasn't yet complete and uh here we go with, with, with Jesus saying he, he, he will build it in three days. And they think he is absolutely bananas. But, but, I don't know whether you've noticed in, in our passage, Jesus wasn't talking about the temple built of, of, of stones. He was talking about his body. Why is that? Well, you see... Jesus is the fulfilment of the Old Testament temple. He's in the temple, that's where sacrifices happened. It's, it's where the presence of God was made manifest on earth. It was where you came to know, to know God. And of course, Jesus was going to be the sacrifice, wasn't he? And he was going to be, he already was the one uh, to, to look to if we're going to know God the Father. because. John chapter one, verse 18, that the one who the only one who knows the father and can make him known is the one who has been at his side. He's come to earth to make him known. Uh, Jesus is the one where you find the perfect presence of God because he is God, isn't he? He was with God in the beginning. He is God. So Jesus is the fulfillment of the temple. And what happened three days after that temple was destroyed, after he was hung on the cross? 
Well, three days later, he was raised from the dead, wasn't he? So what's the sign that Jesus has the authority to to claim uh, the temple as his own? Well, the sign is himself, isn't it? The sign is he himself. He is the new temple. He's the one who fulfills everything there. And the final sign, the final proof will be his resurrection. Destroy this temple. Jesus might have been pointing at his body. Uh, destroy this temple and I'll raise it up in three days. Kill me and three days later I'll be raised from the dead. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it, to know that Jesus is the one with the authority to do what he did with the temple because he is the fulfilment of that temple, the, the person who makes God known to us, the one who is our perfect, unending sacrifice. Shall I pray for us? Father God, thank you so much for uh, Jesus, uh, the embodiment, the fulfilment of the temple. Thank you that in him, we have a perfect sacrifice for our sin. And thank you that in him, you make yourself known to us. We pray, Father, that we would uh, be those looking to Jesus, getting to know him better, and so getting to know you better. Amen. See you soon.